One, two, check. One, two. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Um, area, part two, lesson 115. First, we have to recall that area is calculated by length times width. All right. Um, in this lesson, we are going to calculate the area of figures that can be divided into two rectangles. All right, so example one. Two rectangles are joined to form a hexagon. Oh, look, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That means that it's a hexagon. What is the area of this hexagon? So we can see here that one side is seven feet five feet in the bottom, four feet is this one, three feet is that one, and they don't even tell us what the top ones are, but guess what? We can figure it out because we only need to know the length and the width. So what you're gonna do is notice that these can be divided into two triangles, triangle rectangles, I mean, rectangle one and rectangle two, and this one is seven by five, and this one is four up there by three, Okay, so area equals length times width. So we've got to find the area of one. So that goes with this. So it's area equals seven times five. And seven times five is area equals 35 feet squared. And over here we'll do two, whoop, two, area equals length times width. Area equals four times three. Area equals 12 feet squared. See, I can look here and see that the length, oh, these are feet, and these are feet. Seven feet, 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 Feet. You don't want to forget that like I just did. So, um, basically, you can see that this area, you only need to know the length and the width of the one that you're doing. So we did two separate ones. So we don't need to know that this entire thing is nine feet, right? Because we just don't. We can tell it's nine feet because four and five is nine and we know that this little guy right here's got to be four feet because seven take away three, oh, five, four. I was right the first time. Four feet because seven take away three is four. But we don't need to know that because we only need to know the length and the width. And we can tell that by just dividing these into two separate rectangles. So how many sides does a hexagon have? It has six sides. Do all hexagons have congruent sides? No. Only regular ones. Only regular hexagons have all congruent sides. All right. And for your secret formula, please draw for me a triangle over here. Actually, don't do that. Draw for me a regular hexagon right here with congruent sides. Mm. Good luck. <laughs> okay, lesson practice. Copy each figure on your paper. Then find the area of each figure by dividing it into two rectangles and adding the areas of each part. All right, so... I don't do these with you because this is not an example, but I will tell them to you. A, you have this side is seven long, and also on the top it's seven meters, seven meters and seven meters, and then it comes down and it's four meters, and this guy right here is three meters, and this guy right here is also three meters, and then the one on the bottom is four meters. For B, on the bottom you've got eight inches, and then on this long side, you've got 10 inches. On the top here, you've got five inches. It cuts down to four inches over here. This is three inches right here. And then this guy's six inches. 
C, you've got centimeters, two centimeters, six centimeters going down, eight centimeters long, two centimeters tall there, six centimeters going in here, and four centimeters going up there. And for D, you've got six, six feet long and six feet down, and then five feet down, and then it goes in a little one foot and one foot. So these are both one feet, one foot this way and one foot this way, and then this is five tall. So as you can see, this is your area part two lesson. <laughs> Have a great day.